Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is March 2nd, excuse me, March 2nd, 2021. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report, one of Timer Digest's top ranked stock market timers. And we want to remember to see if you guys can uh, hit that subscribe button, the reminder bell, and the like button. We appreciate you guys helping our channel out. The like button is in there, believe me. Um, we got some interesting things to get to today. Let's see. We want to, um, what do we want to all get into today? Let's see here. Let me look at this, 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 and this. Let's review a little bit first here. You can see from yesterday's report from the all-time high, the S&P put in no fewer than five lower highs and six lower lows with almost every retracement be a Fibonacci 786 retracement, okay? Well, the S&P kept it up again today. Let's look at, um, here is that 30-minute uh, chart, and I want to show you guys, let's get rid of that exponential. Well, we'll leave it in there, okay? Um, from that high, the all-time high on the 16th, we had an initial in, uh, beginning diagonal triangle, wave 1, two, three down, four up, five down, overlapping. That's an ending, or I'm sorry, beginning diagonal triangle, which followed the ending diagonal triangle to, to end the move up. Okay, so this five waves is a fractal of this five waves. Okay, it's the same thing. This one, two, three, four, five is the exact replica of this one, two, three, four, five five and you're seeing all these really steep retracements up here okay so this is a one and this is a two and this is another 786 retracement and this is a one and this is a two so let me get in a little closer here for you guys from this march 1st wave two high okay this is it right here um i like to trade on a one minute chart and this is a one minute chart. You can see we've got one, two, three, four, five for one in red, then one, two, three, four, five for three in red, and then one, two, three, four, five for five in red. That is one, okay? This is two, and um, let me get in that retracement just so you guys can see. I think that one did a 786 also, if I'm not mistaken. See if we can get that to pull on down here. Here we go. Yeah, and you can see it went between the 618 and the 786 right here, okay? But I got the other one in there for a reason. You can see from that uh, midday high here, which was at 1339, I believe. Yeah, 1340. We got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for a 1. We got to move up. This, again, is a 786 retracement. So we've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. You can see it in the black. Okay. And um, that is wave 1. We should get a wave 2. So we could get a wave 3 of 3 of 3 at three different degrees of trend. I put this retracement in here because... These are the retracement levels, and I used to just do the 382, the 500, and the 618, but since so many 786s have come, I wouldn't be surprised if they took it up to 786 uh, overnight or tomorrow morning, okay? No guarantee that we'll get a wave 3 of 3 of 3, but they are the most powerful, and uh, it could be a big wave, okay? Obviously, these this high would need to hold, and, and our 3950 would need to hold in the March 1st high would have to hold but uh let me see i think i have a little something here um on that let's see here we've got that one we did already um by the way there's our three-year uh trading record and i wanted to let you guys know too um before we get into that what's some way of report i've been running since 1997 annual subscription is 233 a year monthly reports plus interim reports as market conditions warrant Sometimes it's two to three, sometimes more a month, plus our monthly subscription, 144. Those are both Fibonacci numbers. Those are daily reports. I put those out virtually every trading day. Okay, so let's look at this uh, this little schematic here. And sorry, there it is. Here is that one-minute bar, and here is the wave two 
uh, March 1st high from yesterday. And you can see we've done a 1, 2, there's 618 retracement, 3, 4, 5. That is wave 1. Here is wave 2 that fell between the 618 and the 786, okay? From that high, and that was at 1339 today, we got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 1 of 3 of 3, okay? If we get a wave 2 up, then we'll get a wave 3 of 3 of 3. Okay, this wave 3 will gain equality with this wave 1 at 3861. And it'll gain a 1.618 multiple at 38.64. On the bigger picture, on the bigger wave one, I think I still have that here. Yeah, this wave three, the one that begins from the February 16th all-time high, gains equality with one at 37.54, and a Fibonacci 1.618 multiple at 36.54. I want to let you guys know too, third waves, especially third of third or even three of three of three waves are the most powerful and they can take on any Fibonacci multiple they want. Usually they're not a 1.618. They can be a 2.618, 3.618, 4.618. And on these um, on these retracements, I've been around for a while, traded all the declines. I, I was even in the market in 1987. That's how old I am. But I remember in 2000, 2002, the, the, the retracements and, and in 2000, 2009, I'm sorry, the retracements were nothing. You would get, you would be lucky if you got a 382 retracement and a three-wave bounce was usually just one. If you wanted to jump in while this thing was moving down, you had to chase. Um, so it's a blessing that they're running these things up to 786 or giving people and traders a chance to get out and get back in. Actually, you can get back in on the long side too if you wanted to be that risky, but uh We'll see what happens. This could be exciting time. We'll see if our uh, our uh, Fibonacci turn dates uh, stay in place. And we had that one within within the uh, Fibonacci. Did I have that in here? The Fibonacci within the Fibonacci time spiral. I may not have put it in there. Let's see. Not there. It is right here. From the uh, 216 high, we've got um, eight Fibonacci days. We had 13 was 3-1, and now the next one in the sequence is 3-9. That is next uh, Tuesday, a week from today. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw one week down in the market. I don't know. We'll have to see how the next couple days plays out. But wanted to give you guys a quick update and alert. Doesn't mean it's definitely going to happen, but it's, it's on the table. So we'll see what happens. Okay, until next time, take care, everyone.